Uh, welcome to Reykjavik Greipan's newscast. My name is Valu Grattison. I'm an editor-in-chief at Reykjavik Greipan. Uh, today is a sunny day. It's kind of too good weather, to be honest. And don't jinx this, Mike Richards. <laughs> uh, we, we have here very slow wind, and this street here is more or less the busiest street in Iceland right now. Uh, you can see the cars perhaps here in the distance, but this is the path to the volcano. Today it's safe to go to the volcano at least until 5, I think it's also at 7 o'clock in the evening, meaning that uh, they are afraid of the gas pollution. But I met like hundreds of people on my way here, pregnant women, children, dogs also. Nobody got hurt at, at the volcano, so it seems to be pretty safe there. Uh, what happened yesterday, just before, because we're here basically, is that the, the, the search and rescue team, they laid these paths here. This path, for example, was not here yesterday. You can see it's very visible now. And it's going to be very obvious just probably after the day, meaning that everybody that will come after the weekend or over the weekend, they will be able to walk here without any problems. This route is very comfortable. It's incredible. But what we're going to do now, we're going to see the volcano again. Uh, it's exciting because uh, our last video got a lot of traction and we're very thankful for that. But we're also just curious. We want to see how it looks like now. Uh, we want to see if, if there are any, di any differences uh, than before because we were there very early on. We were there before. Uh, they, they hadn't even erupted for 24 hours when we saw it. So you can see the people here. These are obviously some uh, groups that are uh, some people that came here in, in groups. Uh, it doesn't seem COVID friendly, but we are actually in a quite good place when it comes to COVID. Uh, before I hike on, I want to remind you, of course, uh, like and subscribe if you like this. And also, like, I've seen a lot of people have been asking me about uh, my clothes. Uh, this, of course, is just my shirt. I, I can't, it's way too hot outside. But everything I wear, you can find it uh, on our online shop. And it's more or less uh, from 66 degrees north. So keep in mind, if you want to hike, it's, it's a very good uh, clothing shop. A little bit expensive, but but it's very, uh, it, it, I have owned these clothes for years, if, if not decades. So on with it. This is actually as busy as Everest on the infamous photo of the line to the top. I haven't been around so many people for months and like in the highlands, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Let's go on. We're done with the hardest part. Uh, we have to climb a mountain. That's like, that's the hardest part. So if you're not in a good physical form, just think about it. Uh, but this is basically the first thing you see when you're up the mountain. There is the peak and we can see it already from here. That is much, much higher than we were there. It's probably, uh, I read it somewhere, it was around 30 meters. But my guess is actually that it could be even larger now. But it's quite something. You can see the, the flame coming up there, uh, the, the, the strokes, of course, from the mountain itself. But uh, yeah, let's go closer, though. <laughs> Scene one. So we're here now in front of the lava. It's incredible to see this right now. When we were here the last time, I mean, the valley here was just, it was, the, the lava was just a fraction in the valley. There was actually a valley here. Uh, now you have to be on the hills of this mountain here. This is actually where I'm standing. <laughs> the helicopters are at it again. 
the mountain I'm standing in right now is actually Fagradals Fjall, the one that they say that have erupted. But of course, that's not the thing. It's like a volcanic system. It's a little bit more complicated. But uh, this is, of course, Geldinga Dalur, a horrible name. Means literally the castration valley. Uh, it's not because we we're castrating people here. It's because there was an old farmer that sent this, uh, like, sheep that he had castrated before always to be here. A boring, ridiculous story. And really nobody cares about this valley before this happened. But... We're standing here in, like, I haven't seen this much lava in such an odd place ever, to be honest. Uh, the thing is that what's happening here is this is becoming like a, like, a, like a pond, almost. There's a red pond. And you can see, of course, like all of the stones here. It, it looks like that the lava is cooling down and becoming hard. But it, it's, it, there is nothing further from the truth because... If you look here a little bit, uh, like, uh, uh, to the east, uh, north, sorry, then you can see that there is st still lava under this, and under this is literally just uh, like an ocean of this red-hot lava. And we're talking about when it comes out of the mountain, uh, the craters or the... The center cone I saw somewhere. Icelanders actually say Gigur or crater. So I'm just going to stick with that. Just to bear with me. Uh, so the crater here, uh, the lava there is like 1200 degrees on Celsius. Uh, so it's like, you can imagine. And the, the thing is that these, this lava here, like the stones, they are so sharp that they could easily go through my uh, hiking boots if, if I wouldn't be careful enough. So they're both hot and just sharp like a knife. So Incredible. You perhaps don't understand me right now. I'm wearing this gas mask, of course. Uh, the thing is that these places are now kind of dangerous. So we're going to go a little bit up so you can see this better. And I'm going to take off my mask. I can see the search and rescue team. They're actually watching me now. Uh, <laughs> So I wanted to show you the ridge. Uh, the thing is, and this is what the scientists in Iceland have the, the biggest concern about, is you show, see where the mountain is, where everything is spewing up, and then there is the ridge down here. The thing is that they think that, I mean, it's not impossible, it's not possible, like, it's not likely either that there will be another uh, eruption somewhere on this ridge. And therefore, the, the, the civil guard in Iceland have banned all traffic around it. That's why you don't see any people there like the last time. We didn't know it the last time, but it's like it's a possibility that it could happen. And, and uh, the math office and the scientists, they don't want to take a chance to have people there when it happens. Also, of course, like a lot of people pointed out, and we pointed out, and we have seen this, of course, in the world news, the craters there could actually collapse, uh, which means that the, the lava there would flow very violently down. But also, uh, well, now it's a little bit different, but there was like a death there. So when, when I was actually standing like next to the volcano, it was a small optical illusion. And in it one, uh, I seemed closer than I really was. I wasn't this close, and I was quite safe actually where I was. As safe as you can be <laughs> in that very extreme situation as standing next to a volcano. So that's how it is. Uh, another thing, and this is quite interesting, that is... It, it will probably take the, the, the valley here, uh, the, the, there is the volcano will fill this valley uh, with uh, lava probably in weeks. They think, uh, they're not sure how many weeks, but in the end it will become so high here that it will, it will flow somewhere out. They think it could be on the other side there, uh, or it could be here, uh, where the people are coming actually. So this, la this uh, area here will take very, like, big changes, uh, like, in the next uh, weeks, at least. Giving that uh, it will erupt any longer. Uh, and then we come to the most interesting part, I guess, that this could be, uh, like, they call it effusive, effusive eruption. I think I'm saying this correctly. In Icelandic, it's dinkjukos. 
the interesting thing about it is that it hadn't, hasn't happened for 7,000 years. Uh, so the lava here is 7,000 years old. And we're talking about it comes directly from like the center of the earth. So it's like, it is like, uh, you can't imagine how old this is. This is stuff that was like, uh, like, yeah, it's just, it's incredible to think about it. Uh, the people of Hawaii, as well as in Ethiopia, Ethiopia, uh, they know this pretty well. They also have these effusive uh, eruptions. And one of the characteristic uh, sympt symptoms of this is that uh, they can go on for, for decades. Uh, we are not sure about this one. Uh, it could actually happen. Uh, but uh, scientists know that this will go on at least for days, perhaps weeks. And now scientists are saying this could be months, even years. So if you're thinking about, for example, visiting in Iceland, this could perhaps be, still be here, but you have to keep in mind that this valley here will be completely uh, under this very old lava, which is, like I said, 7,000 years old, which is absolutely mind-blowing. And just listen to that. This is officially like the amusement park of Iceland in the COVID. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing how many people are here. So I think we have broken all rules when it comes to COVID. I think we also broke all rules when it comes to the civil guard and how to treat a volcano. But nobody seems hurt here. Everybody's very uh, calm. It's, it's not an irresponsible behavior we see here, not at all. And also keep in mind, Icelanders, we have like three, we have a volcano every three to four years in Iceland. Uh, I mean, like last decade was at least, what, four, four volcanoes. So it, we, we're quite like, we, we know what, what this is. But uh, what I want to say to you in the end, of course, is that this is, of course, uh, as safe as you want it to be. You can, if, you, if you follow the instruction from the rescue team here, uh, this will be no problem. If you want to do something more, it could be a problem. Uh, we, we took this with us just to show you. Uh, we didn't really need to use it, uh, but they are now telling us to, to evacuate from the area, and we are, of course, going to do this. Uh, uh, but, uh, yeah. Uh, also, I want to, to remind you, of course, of like our online shop, uh, uh, all of our clothes. Uh, yeah, I want to show you, of course, uh, the, I'm going to drink you know, the tea and the food we had. Uh, this is like you know, amazing to be here. I mean, you have to say, like, the weather is very good and it's like you just have to be humble about it, right? So, see you then. And keep on subscribing.